Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to access the new volume delta indicators, which was recently added by TradingView, and they've added two new volume based indicators, one being called the volume delta and the other being called the cumulative volume delta. Now, if you're not familiar with volume delta indicators, these indicators will typically use an intra-bar volume as well as price fluctuations to estimate the difference, which is what we call the delta, between buying and selling pressure within each chart bar. Now, this can potentially provide insight into an instrument sentiment as well as their market dynamics. So let's go ahead and show you where to access these new volume delta indicators within your TradingView software. The first thing that you're going to want to do at the very top, you want to click your chart toolbar where it says indicators, and then you want to go and type in the search field volume. Once you type in volume, TradingView will automatically populate any volume related indicator and you'll notice that volume delta is the very top option and you'll see cumulative volume delta at the very bottom. Notice you'll see the new new tags next to it as well, which is letting you know these are brand new indicators that have been implemented into the TradingView software. So let's go ahead and start with the regular volume delta first. All you need to do is just simply click it to apply it instantly onto the chart. Right now we're working, we're looking at the uh, micro S&P 500 and exchange traded futures contract on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Now the regular volume delta indicator will typically analyze each chart bar from an intra-bar time frame. So for example, a time frame that's typically lower than the charts, and then what it will do is it'll categorize each intra-bar volume as a positive or a negative. And it'll gradually accumulate the polarized volume values throughout a chart bar to calculate the actual volume delta. And this will then keep track of the highest and lowest volume delta values, which can be accumulated over the bar's duration. Now the resulting values are typically displayed as a candle that the open is always going to be a zero. The candles close will indicate the final delta volume and the high and the low are respectively the highest and lowest volume delta for the current bar. So once you add the volume delta onto your chart, if you ever want to make any changes to it, the first thing that I want to point out that the volume delta indicator is a subchart. So what a subchart means is when you add an indicator, it'll split your main chart in half and it'll actually pull, put the indicator at the bottom of your chart by default. If you want to rearrange the size of the chart, what you need to do is take your mouse cursor and just basically hover it over the dividing line. You'll see your mouse cursor turn into a double-sided arrow and just simply left click and drag up and down to resize the subchart. Now, if you want to make any changes to the actual indicator itself, you want to look at the header title on the top left corner of the subchart where it says volume delta here. And when you hover over it, it'll basically give you access to these quick buttons. So for example, this one will hide it. This one basically gets you into the settings. And this is where you can make changes to input values, style, as well as visibility. So pretty straightforward. If you want to make any changes, just make your changes accordingly. Once done, click the blue OK button at the bottom. And again, that's from the actual indicator header bar that you see here. And if you hover your mouse cursor, it'll actually tell you what that button represents. And if you want to remove the indicator as well, you can click the little trash gun icon right here. And now the indicator has been removed. So now let's go on and let's go ahead and move over to the, the second volume indicator that's been added, which is what we call the cumulative volume delta indicator. So same thing, we're going to click the indicators button at the top here. We're going to go and type in volume and you'll see where it says cumulative volume delta at the bottom. So we're going to left click to add it onto the chart. Now you can see it's been instantly added. So the cumulative volume delta indicator is really, it's a very, it's a very similar principle, but with an added benefit. It'll typically accumulate volume delta across a period to provide a broader perspective. So for example, each new bar's volume delta will add to the cumulative value calculated on the previous bar. Now, the only exception is when a new period starts, which resets the cumulative calculation, the open of every new volume candle will not signify the start of a new period that might be equal to the close of the previous one. And so that in that case, the high-low close values of that candle will be built upon its opening price. Okay, so same thing with the volume delta indicator, same concept if you want to make any changes. It, this, is, this is a subchart as well. So you can hover your mouse cursor over the dividing line to simply drag and resize. And if you hover your mouse cursor over the on the top left corner of the indicator display where it shows the header title, you'll see those very same buttons. So for example, hide. This gets you into the settings. So you can see CVD just basically a, an abbreviation for cumulative volume delta. And then you can get in there and change your inputs, your style, your visibility. Once you make those changes, you can click OK. And if you want to remove the indicator off the chart, you want to click the little trash can icon here, and that will remove the indicator off the chart. And this is how you access the new volume delta indicators using the TradingView software.